Hey guys, what's up? Shining Polaris, and this is Sunday, and I never rarely do a video on Sunday, but today was the special episode of AEW where it was the, you know, finals of the women's tournament on, you know, United States and Jap Japan side, and if you didn't watch it yet, it is now on YouTube. Go ahead and watch that. So, they went and instead of having this on Dynamite or even on YouTube or AEW Dark, they tried to do this thing where they were going to put it on uh, Bleacher Report Live uh, to see if they could get more viewers to watch the show. Well, unfortunately, uh, BR Live only works in the United States. Now, I personally watched it on BR Live, so that wasn't a problem with me, but it was just so disappointing to see like everyone on Twitter that is not from the U.S. were like, I can't watch this, and they were showing screenshots that it only showed like the article or said the content is not available here. So that was very disappointing because, you know, you want, I, you know, everyone keeps criticizing about the AW women's division, but, you know, the few of us that still support it, it would be so unfortunate to not be able to watch it because we just can't. Well, overwhelming response happened and Tony Khan, maybe 30 minutes into the show, post said that he's just going to put it on YouTube. So it's on YouTube now. You can watch it. I actually uh, think it is still going on now. Because, uh, again, I watched it on BR Live, so it ended sooner than the YouTube uh, show. But anyhow, you know, good job, Tony, for, you know, fixing that issue for the international viewers. So anyway, uh, yeah, I watched it. You had you had three uh, matches on here. It's about an hour long. The first one was the amazing six-person uh, six or uh, tag team match uh, on the Japanese side with the women. Um, that was that was really really good. It was uh, Hikaru, May, and um, uh, I forgot the other girl's name. That's on one side, and then the other side is is um, <laughs> so bad. I just forgot these names. Benny, uh, Maki, and uh, Emi on the other, and uh, it was like man these women they just went at it again if you just if you had any you know any doubt now i know it just started this is still on the japanese side but if you had any doubt that aw is not trying to improve their women division i mean look at these women go it was insane it was such a great match i i mean i will say uh, personally me uh stand out uh, uh people in this match i would say it would be may Sharuga and of course uh maki ito but personally for me it would be may i i think she's very young i think she competed for like two years or something but man she's just killing it in the ring like she is so flexible and uh, her and hikaru <coughs> were doing some moves together and it was just they were just very cute together and again crazy moves they were doing onto each other like even if you listen to excalibur and taz they were just like what the hell's going on <laughs> it was so great um yeah just also want to say commentary wise i mean the last episode uh that they have for the japanese side it was you know excalibur uh by himself he did an amazing job and then you know this time here he got taz both are just you know killing it on commentary uh, i personally don't think there's a better commentary team they just work so well together and the way they were talking it just they just make you really feel like this woman tournament is so important so uh for the uh for the that tag team match the winner it was hikaru shida pinning venny and, uh, and hikaru shida side won that match and afterwards it, you know everybody was breaking down they were just beating each other up so hopefully AEW just went and signed everybody in this match <laughs> and we can continue this feud in america so <laughs> that would that would be great because oh my god i love everybody and like i said uh, Maki Ito, such a huge following. She has just has such great presence and look in the ring. I mean, absolute star right there. Like they need to snatch her up if they hadn't yet. <laughs> um, the next, the next match was uh, you know like uh, semifinals for Jap Japan side. That was uh, uh, Yuka versus um, uh, Rio Muzian <laughs> Muziami. I forgot. Uh, I apologize for their names. Uh, and. I really thought that Yuka was gonna win because she was the crowd favorite, and um, and you know she like she's on a W roster, so it was like okay, she's probably gonna win it, and then they can just have their battle in the United States. Did let me just say again, another amazing match, Yuka, who is like this super cute magical girl, <laughs> but she has brutal moves. She's just like great submission moves, uh, absolute flexibility too. And then you have, um, you know, uh, Rio, 
again, another just really again, we're just both brutal. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It was just a very good match. I was really, really surprised. At the end, it was kind of, I think, kind of in surprise roll-up-ish kind of win there. But uh, Rio won it, so she will be. She won it all for the Japanese side. So she, she's in in the semifinals or the finals, I guess you could say. And she will face off either um, Nyla Rose and whoever won the next tournament, which I will speak in a second. So, so then the, your last. A match which was your main event that was Thunder Rosa versus versus uh Rio and uh I, I'm telling you I like predicted everything wrong I mean, <laughs> I really want I really wanted Rio to win but anywho yeah Thunder Rosa is, is great too so I mean oh I'm just so conflicted basically all these women that they had on this episode of AW was great so you had you know Rio Rio coming in I mean she's like this she's so small but very quick and just these devastating striking blows to a Thunder Rosa. But Thunder Rosa, like, just overall, you know, she's she's brutal herself. So they're just, I don't know. It, I, I, you see, you see, I'm just like lost for words because I just cannot explain how great all three of these matches were. You you gotta go watch it. Like I said, it's on YouTube for anybody international USA to watch it. Thunder Rosa versus Rio. That was a really good match. There uh, again, there was just some crazy moves, and because Rio is so flexible, there was like a the spot that I just remember most of of Rio on top of Thunder Rosa's back. Now it's Thunder Rosa trying to get her into a submission, so she's like upside down on Thunder Rosa's back. back. She has her neck right here, she's trying to like squeeze her down to to submit her out, and then that didn't work, so she just threw her right right on the ground. It just looked so brutal. So, um, but yeah, so at, at at the end of at the end of that, um, I, again, I think it was, you know what? I'm gonna I. Thunder Rosa did somewhat a surprise roll up to Rio. That's what I meant to say. The last match with um, with uh, Rin and um, uh, Yuka, Rin did did so. I think she did her finisher on on Yuka and did finisher. So that was not that was not a surprise roll up. This Thunder Rosa right here, I think I think it was kind of a surprise roll up. Anywho, she uh, Thunder Rosa won, and uh, yeah. So then on. Tomorrow's show on Monday, it is going to be Thunder Rosa versus Nyla Rose. And I will say for this one, Thunder Rosa has to win it because I do not want to see another another Nyla Rose versus Hikaru Shida match. Oh man, I'm sorry Nyla Rose fans, but I mean, the, like I said, the last three, three, two, three pay-per-views, Hikaru Shida has been going up Nyla Rose. So just uh, hopefully it, it's going to be uh, Thunder Rosa uh, win this and then um, the, the last last one before revolution will be on dynamite that will be either whoever wins nyla or thunder rosa versus versus uh rin uh on dynamite and then that will be the match for revolution so can't wait to see that uh just uh just a little side note for revolution uh i tried to get tickets to it it was sold out i think in about 30 minutes and you can see on my tiktok i like video recorded myself trying to get tickets and it was like every time i punched it just said it was sold out. Every single seat. I didn't even care. I just went straight down. I went to two, four, six seats. It didn't matter. I'm like, let me just get to the show. So it sold out. Whatever. I just, you know, I'm going to watch it on TV like, like I was planning to anyway. So there you go. Sorry, this video seemed a little rushed. I'm still thinking about the match. It was really good. Go and watch it on YouTube. Forget about BR Live. That's just so confusing. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching and hearing me blab on. And I will see you very soon. Probably to talk about uh either tomorrow or dark and eh, one of those one of those I'll, I'll try to make a video for that all right okay see ya bye